I want to pivot a little bit. We alluded to, uh, you know, the time playing in Philly, me going there. You obviously was drafted there in 84. I want to know, what, what was the reaction when you found out that you would be a Philadelphia 76er? I was like, no, hell no. <laughs> I didn't, because, you know, back then we had a hard salary cap. And so the owner of the Sixers, I, I was about 300 pounds in college. Damn, at 6'5"? I was big boned, Paul. <laughs> I big boned. And so they about six weeks before the draft, they bring me up. And the Sixers owner says, hey, you know, a lot of people are concerned about your weight. And I think that time I weighed 295, somewhere right in there. And he says, come back on your way to New York. I want you to weigh 285. So I went down to Houston uh, and spent the summer. Uh, and I get down about 285, got about two days before the draft. My agent says, you know, the Sixers are over the salary cap. They're going to get you a one-year contract for $75,000. I'm like, yo, man, I didn't leave college for $75,000. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. He says, well, what do you want to do? I said, let's make sure the Sixers don't draft me. Man, I went on an eating spree. I went to Denny's for two straight days, got two or three grand slam. We went to the best steakhouse in Texas. I fly into Philly. Man, I'm like 299. <laughs> oh, the owner of the Sixers called me every name in the book. Yeah. Every name in the book. You fat, blah, 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 blah. You fat. Blah. And he put me on the train. We go up to New York. And let me tell you something. I'm thinking I'm going to slip to six or seven and get me some good money. Mm -hmm. And when the guy said, with the fifth pick of the draft, the Philadelphia 76ers take Charles Barkley from Auburn. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> and you can see the look on my face. I was not happy. Mm -hmm. And so uh, they drafted me. And then the owner of the Sixers says, well, we can only give you $75,000. He says, why don't you go to Summer League, show me you can play, and I might make some trades. I says, well, I got nothing to lose. And man, I went to Summer League. It was in Princeton, Princeton, New Jersey. I was out there rebounding like a madman. I was running, <laughs> jumping, dunking, everything. Ended up trading two players, and my first contract was four years, $2 million. There you go. But the best thing happened to me, PG, was Moses Malone because I was not getting to play. Mm -hmm. I was not getting to play because I was fatting out of shape. I asked Moses one day, Moses, me and Moses actually live in the same building. He, he lived in the penthouse. I, stood, I was in the outhouse. <laughs> and I said, Moses, I said, Moses, can I come see you after practice? He says, sure, young fella. I said, Moses, why am I not getting to play? He says, son, you fat and you lazy. I'm like, what? He said, you fat and you lazy. He said, son, you got a lot of talent, but you can't work hard because you're so fat. And PG, this whole thing changed my whole career. Mm -hmm. One of the greatest players ever met me before practice, after practice, and he made he got me to lose 50 pounds, and the rest is history. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't for Moses Malone, man, I have zero idea. I'd be working at McDonald's. Welcome to McDonald's. Can I help you, please? <laughs> yeah. But that guy who was already one of the all-time greats. He took me on his wing. He worked with me every day before practice, after practice. He got me from 300 to 250. And like I say, the rest is history. Mm -hmm. That was the best thing. that he. That, that's the best thing that ever happened to me in my NBA career, Moses Malone. Was the reason behind, because that group you got drafted to was uh, Dr. J was still there. Uh, yes. Moses Malone, Mo Cheeks. Like, that's that's a hell of a, a trio right there. Um, and for someone like you to come out of college, I would assume that, like, man, like, I get an opportunity to play with these three guys. Was it more so just because of the money aspect of, of, of the reason and why you didn't want to go to Philly? Well, I want the money, dude. I'm trying to take care of my family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I understand hey, that hey, 100%. Hey, hey man. I'm from a small town in Alabama. I'm trying to get my family the hell out of there. <laughs> yeah, 100%. You know? Yeah, so 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 
obviously it worked out, but man, those guys taught me so much about life. They taught me how to dress. They taught me how to save my money. Mm -hmm. They told me how many people were going to turn against me when I started making a lot of money. They're like, hey, the worst people you're going to encounter are your family and friends, man. They're going to want your money. If you don't give it to them, they're not going to like you. And that was tough, and it came true. Uh, but, man, getting drafted, because I think there are a lot of NBA players who go to shit organizations with shit coaching. But I had those veterans. I had Billy Cunningham, who's the best coach I've ever played for, because Billy told me, I'm not going to play you. you you're fat and you're out of shape. I'm not going to play you. Mm -hmm. And him holding me accountable and Moses helping me lose the weight, that was really significant and important for me. Because, Paul, you know, uh, I can, I'm not going to name guys. I don't want to embarrass guys. You know, you see some guys eat their way out of the NBA. Mm -hmm. I've seen probably in my, during my time, that was probably 10 guys who ate their way out of the NBA who could have been making a gazillion dollars if they had been able to control their appetite and had a great work ethic. Mm -hmm. But like you got, but they went to a bad organization and nobody had challenged them and held them accountable. I, I always tell people, where you get drafted, the coach you get is a really big deal. Uh, I think that because if you get the wrong coach in the wrong organization, man, it can it can hold you back. Mm -hmm.